Well, I'd arrived in Seville the day before and had a chance the previous afternoon to take in some of the historical landmarks of the city. But this morning I had a train to catch for Cadiz. And good morning from a very sunny December morning here in Seville. And I'm stood outside Sevilla Santa Justa station. And uh, today I'm going to be travelling to Cadiz. Nice to travel on a regional train and I'm very much looking forward to having a little look at Cadiz as I'm told that it has a real South American vibe to it. So anyway, let's get over to the station. The station at Sevilla Santa Justa was opened in May 1991 in preparation for the coming of the high speed line from Madrid in 1992. It was bold in the 90s to build in this modernist style and I think it still retains the clean lines and the usability that it's always had since those original days. The western end is definitely the tradesman's entrance with a set of rather tatty concrete steps leading up from the extensive car parks. Under the apron of the beautiful curving facade is where you'll find the taxi and vehicle drop-off points and also the main entrance and either side is flanked by cafes on one side, a pretty standard cafe and on the other, McDonald's. So that's the outside look, so let's go through the doors and find out what it looks like on the inside. Once we're through the double automatic doors, soon it opens into a wonderful cathedral-like space. And I must say, standing here, it does remind me of the interior of one or two Soviet-style Eastern European stations that I visited. So along one wall, there's the Renfe staff ticket offices, and also there's a few places for people to sit and wait for their trains. Along with McDonald's, there's plenty other places where you can eat, and there's also some shops of various kinds. Our train, the 0945 for Cadiz, is being shown on the departure board but currently doesn't have a platform allocated and there's plenty of time for us to have a better look at this wonderful station. And here as we step through again towards the platforms, the straight lines take us down to morph gently back into the curved lines of the platform canopies themselves. I think it is the duty of great railway architecture to give travellers the sense of occasion as they embark upon another railway journey. And Seville Santa Justa has done this impeccably. One rule of thumb for this grandeur is to really try for the station's architecture to almost dwarf the trains themselves. And that's no more true than at Seville. And stood here looking down the majestic curves of the platform almost makes us feel that we are looking down on a model railway. I've got myself a coffee and a croissant, so whilst we're sat here, maybe it's a good time to have a look at our route for today. And this morning we'll be leaving Santa Usta and we'll be travelling underground through Seville and making a quick stop at Seville San Bernardo. Then out through the southern approaches to Dos Hermanas and the classic line to Malaga peels off to the east as we carry on through Utrera, Labria, Erez de la Frontera, Puerto de Santa Maria when we do the complete swoop around the Bay of Cadiz calling at San Fernando Bahia Sur and a quick stop at Cadiz Stadium before we get into Cadiz itself. Today's journey will be 102 kilometres or 64 miles and it will take this media distancia 1 hour and 41 minutes. Right, well, we've been called forward and I have a platform. And as we're not on a high-speed train today, there won't be any security before boarding. And we'll be leaving today from platform 10. As we go down the travelator and towards the platforms, the feeling of the station changes again as we slide under the curved roofs of the platforms. And here's our train today. It's a five coach Renfe Media Distancia Class 449 EMU, which was built by CAF between 2008 and 2011. The maximum design speed of these units is 160 km per hour or 100 miles per hour, which we should hit for most of our journey. Right, up the stairs we go. No level boarding today. And here we are, airline style window seat. 
and we are off through the tunnels underneath Seville City. The walk from my hotel to San Bernardo was probably about the same as walking to Santa Usta, but there was no way I was going to miss enjoying that railway station. And soon we're cruising out through the southern suburbs of Seville. Dos Semanas, or Two Sisters, is a major centre for olive oil production, although its most famous export is probably the hit Macarena by local band Los Del Rio. And it's soon apparent that as well as olives and grapes, the Spanish are now very keen to harvest the sun directly. Utrera is considered to be the cradle of both bullfighting and flamenco. I'm sure other places may contest that, but I'm just telling you what I've read. Our class 449 makes very light work of cruising at 160 km per hour and the track along here is very smooth indeed. Of course that's no surprise as gauge changing Alvia high speed trains use this line to run between Cadiz and Madrid. My guess is that the long concrete troughs that we can see here are in fact irrigation aquifers. The line has been running fairly parallel with the Guadalquivir river up to now, but at Librilla we will swing southbound. And as we approach Jerez, we pass the Adif freight yards. The run into the station is characterized by a long stretch of elevated line. And of course Jerez is the home of Sherry, and also an absolutely cracking period railway station. Get a load of this. The predominantly blue tiling is wonderful and is reminiscent of similar styles you might see in Portugal. Oh, we've not done a seat tour yet, have we? As you can see, there's no carpet on the floor, but legroom is pretty good and everyone does get a foot rest, even in tourista class. I'm not sure there's a lot of life left in the seat back pocket, mind you. But the tray table is clean, large and of the sturdy variety. And there's one of those metal things and I still don't know what I could use it for. Up at the window there's an adjustable blind. And the coat hooks kind of pop in and pop out if you need them. And the seat itself, well, it's functional. There's an adjustable armrest, and underneath the armrest you can find European style plugs. But even though we're in the cheap seats, you still get a modicum of recline. Sadly, the seat is quite hard and somewhat reminiscent of what you'd find on an 800 series Hitachi train over in the UK. El Puerto de Santa Maria marks the start point of our long sweep down the coast and around the Bay of Cadiz. As the crow flies, we're now about 10 kilometers from Cadiz, but we've actually still got about 35 kilometers left to ride on the train. And there's Cadiz way off in the distance. Once we're across Puente de Hierro, we can run into San Fernando Bajiasur, which is our last major station stop before we reach the environs of Cadiz. And as we sweep out of San Fernando, flying over our heads is the line of the Cadiz tram train, and you can see a video of that service also on this channel. 
and finally we can cross the causeway along the west side of the Bay of Cadiz towards the city of Cadiz itself. What a wonderful way this is to approach a city. And after Cortadora station the line tunnels under the city itself for one final intermediate stop at Cadiz football stadium. And finally at San Severiano we come back out into daylight to make our arrival into Cadiz. And at Cadiz our train immediately forms the return working to Seville, Cordoba and Jaén. The um, media distance uh, train was, uh, I thought, uh, was perfect for what it did. It barreled along at 160 uh, kilometers per hour whenever it could. It was very smooth. Just going to interrupt my friend here for a second to say just over his shoulder the entrance of the central coach is slightly lower to enable level boarding for less able passengers. It was very smooth and um, yeah I thought it was a, a very decent product from uh, Renfe. Probably my one complaint is yeah the seats were very hard so I was only about 50 minutes in when my bum started to notice how hard the seats were but you know um, it did have extremely good leg room and also um, a huge selection of uh, different reclines in fact one way I felt I was near, when, I, when I was doing the video part and sliding it forward and forward and forward it was like oh Christ I'm going to sort of end up lying flat here if I'm not careful but anyway it was a good run and I'm looking forward to my late afternoon return to Sevilla yeah now it's time to have a look at Cadiz Thank you very much for joining me today on this Media Distancia service from Seville to Cadiz. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, then please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I release a new travel video every Friday. But for now, it's goodbye from Cadiz and thank you very much for watching.